Welcome to a word of hope for Monday, the 29th week of Ordinary Time. I'm Father Andrew Carl Wisdom. Friends, in the context of this pandemic, and upon reflection of these scripture readings this morning, I'm reminded of a business seminar that I attended many years ago before I was a Dominican. And I'll never forget the opening words of the speaker that day. He began with, it is human arrogance to assume that you will be here five minutes from now. He went on to ask the question, how many arrogant people do I have here today? And it took a little while, but before long, all hands were up. And his point was this, it's probable, plan on it, but it's arrogant to assume it. Arrogant assumption is the issue Jesus has with the rich man in the parable he talks about in today's gospel. The arrogant assumption of being preoccupied with one's things and one's possessions to the degree that you think you can store them up and secure your own future. Now, Jesus doesn't have an issue with the man being rich or having possessions. Wealthy people for decades, centuries, have done transformative things when they've shared their wealth. His issue is that when we become preoccupied with these riches instead of the riches that matter to God, this kind of arrogance inspires and fuels greed, as we see with the brother of the rich man. And Jesus, again, makes the point, don't get caught up in transitory things. Your security doesn't lie there. Your security lies in God's good works within you, in God's plans for your life. And indeed, we hear Paul talk about that. Paul says, you were created in Jesus Christ for the good works that God has prepared in advance. You see, friends, Our true treasure in life, our greatest riches, riches are not what we have acquired or accumulated for ourselves, but really what we give of ourselves. And our deepest security is in this God whose love is unconditional and rich in mercy, who has already prepared our future for us, a future of eternal friendship. God bless you. And stay safe.